But this, see, if you drop it, Okay, we're gonna tackle the front bearings here. This is the driver's side. And the one thing you'll notice is this little bump right here. That is your spinometer cable, which is right here. It goes up through the firewall. Um, interesting way to drive it rather than off the transmission. It's just off the front hub here. So on your driver's side, you're gonna have this cap with a hole in it and a little square bit there that is actually your throttle cable. It's not throttle cable. Uh, <laughs> your speedometer cable. And the first thing we're going to do is get off our uh, our hub. And there should be a little gap here somewhere where we can do that. Anyway, I'll dig through there and I'll find it and I'll bring you back. Oh yeah, and there's this tiny little circlip, little e-clip there on the end of the shaft that you have to pull off and then we get our cap off and inside there's the speedometer cable and you've got this little nut that's got a lock in it it's uh it's got a um uh, a little allen head screw in there but you can see the grease on this is really old and bad it looks like it got some water in it so we'll be taking this all apart and redoing it so we got our allen head wrench and we loosen that bolt there and this is a left hand thread uh, you'll be tempted to do that first, <laughs> but it goes righty, loosey, lefty, tighty, confuses many people. And when we put this back on, you'll see why it's not very tight and easy to get off, get off by hand. So in theory, this should pull off. We'll see. Yeah, there's just a little backing plate there and then the bearing <clears throat> and I actually had to do a little prying here because we got grease and rust and all kinds of crap in here um, but we just need to clean this up get the bearings and the races out of here put new bearings races and a seal in here the uh, seal goes here on the back where I lost one bearing, fell right out. We just have to replace that race in there and uh, button this all back up. So if you look down in there, you'll see that little notch there and there. And beyond that notch is the race for the outer bearing. We're gonna punch that out. Um, and then on this side, let's turn this over, you can see there's four little notches in there. And that is the uh, inner race for the inner bearing. We're going to punch that out also. We already took out the seal. Uh, the seal was right here and the bearing just plopped out. I'll show you how to put all that back in once we... Uh, get to that stage. So we're just going to get a, uh, a little punch in here and get it on the edge of that race and go from side to side. And we should hear it plink out. There it goes. That easy. And on the other side, it's a little bit larger. We'll Go around all four of the holes. We're trying not to uh, mar up the edge, but a little bit, it's not gonna kill us. And both are out. It's that simple. That's how you get the races out. Uh, and then we will use a different tool to get the new ones back in. I'll bring you back then. So we've got our new race in here and it goes in this way. The taper comes up so that you can get the bearing in there. Otherwise you can't get it in there so um, you can you know pink along the edge if you like um, you know with your with your uh, uh, punch but I've actually got uh, a driver here I think this whole set was like $12 and
and the tone will change when you're in and you can feel it down there but you hear it you heard it go from kind of a hollow sound to a ping 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 sound that ping ping sound so we're we're set down there with that one and then the other one we just have to change sizes oops you can't see but I'm opening the box and I'm dropping everything <laughs> Okay, so here's our other one. It's gonna go in there and we can get it. Just started along the edge with your hammer, but it's a little small maybe. We'll probably use this, even though it doesn't fit down in there. That'll fit around that direction. It kind of it kind of fits in there, but I don't like how it's sitting on the race. I don't want to uh, disturb the race at all. So we'll. And these are aluminum, so they're not going to you know scratch the hardened steel of that. But I still want to do this <coughs> mostly right. We'll use our fingers here. There it is, it's solid now. And so that race is done in there. And that's it. Really not that hard. Like I said, you could, you know, use your punch and go around the edge very carefully, light, light little taps to get the seat down in there. That works. But if you can get one of these sets, it has the different size drifts and everything. I think it was only like $12 on Amazon. I'm going to use it 10 times in the next 15 years. So uh, it's just a good thing to have. So we've cleaned this out also. We've, we've sprayed this one brake cleaner. I got as much of the old grease and everything out of there as I could. Uh, but essentially this is ready to go back on now. So we'll uh, pack the new bearings and uh, start putting everything together. Uh, the other thing I did here is the... Um, spindle itself had a lot of corrosion on here i took some uh 800 grit sandpaper that i had and a little wd or your favorite lubricant and just sprayed this to get a lot of that gunk off there that's what was holding this on it had some rust and gunk built up underneath the uh the inner bearing surface the bearings don't ride on this just the uh, sleeve rides on this i think it's called the sleeve um so we just want to make sure that's good and clean and uh We'll uh, pack these bearings and get this all set up. So to pack the bearings, and some people really don't like this job. I think it's kind of neat, but uh, <clears throat> you get your grease and you've got your bearing and your bearing is going to sit down here, but we got to get grease in it first. Again, there, I actually use the bearing to pick up some grease and put it in the palm, in this case of my my left hand and we're going to oops you can't see this at all uh, we're going to push grease into the bearing and that's what we're doing here we're just we're just pushing the grease through the uh the outside of the bearing in through all of the uh, rollers and into the inside of the bearing it doesn't take long you get you get the grease pushing through and everything you just want to make sure that it's it's coming out i don't know if you can see this at all if you <laughs> you want to make sure it's coming out you know here on both sides and you've really pressed a lot of that grease through there we want it fully greased we want all the air and everything out of there we don't want this rolling down the road you know with, with too much uh not enough grease there we go so now we got that in. Problem is we've got hands that are just covered in grease and we've got to put in this seal. <laughs> and so I'm gonna get some of this grease off here. And you can use a, uh, a towel. 
keep lots of these blue shop towels nearby when you're doing grease. And yeah, you're going to waste some. It, uh, it doesn't all stick around. No pun intended. And we've got our new seal here. And that's what else seals against the spindle is, is the seal. And it's pretty self-explanatory. It just goes down in like this. And again, I've got this punch. Oh, this isn't a punch. This is a more of a drift. And I think we're down there all the way. We look like we're down there all the way. And that seals against that surface there. Uh, actually up there, I think. So we might want to clean that off up the layer a little bit as well. Yeah, it actually seals up there. So I will, I'll clean that off more too. And we want to make sure that's well lubricated up there. Hey, so we want to make sure this is nice and clean up here. This seal actually rides on this surface up here, the bearing sits down here. So we will make sure this is nice and clean so it seals well, because we don't want to get all kinds of grease in here in our brake. But that's it, we'll flip this around, we'll, we'll grease up the, uh, the outer bearing and uh, we'll put some grease you know, inside of the, uh, the hub also just to act as some extra grease that can come in. It, it doesn't really take a lot because most of the grease is gonna stay here. It doesn't flow like oil or anything, uh, but it's a good idea to have some in there. You don't want it dry. So we'll do that and uh, we'll bring you back when we're buttoning all this up. Okay, before we button this all up, we do want to make sure that everything is clean. I did uh, clean off that surface that the, uh, the um, seal goes on. I've got some brake clean here. And we're just gonna spray everything off, make sure you don't want grease on your brake bits. And also, I don't think this has been done in ages. All right. And they tell you to dry that off with compressed air. I don't have compressed air available right now, so we're going to let that dry off by uh, air. Okay, we've got everything cleaned up. We've got our bearings in. They're greased up. We greased up the center of the hub. So we got a lot of grease in there also. And it simply slides on. There we go extra grease here. That's not a bad thing necessarily. We want grease. We want to keep those bearings moving. And everything moves. We put our little retaining washer in here. And we've got our nut, which don't forget is uh, opposite, so we're lefty tightening here. And the deal on this is, we do want to get a wrench here, but you want this tight enough so this spins. Um, you're going to tighten it and then back off. So let me get a wrench and you can do that. But the instructions say seven to nine, uh, gosh, I don't remember if it's foot pounds or Newton meters. Um, I think it's foot pounds. Newton meters are smaller. So um, we're just going to kind of hand tighten that. And then we'll tighten up our little locking uh, bolt there and we'll put the cap back on and we'll be done. Okay, so the deal on this is, couldn't find my, I think it's a 24 or something like that. Doesn't matter. The deal on this is we want it to be uh, tight enough so this doesn't move, but not tight enough to constrict it. So we just want to back off a little bit. So the reason you want to tighten it, you want to, you want to tighten this up 
So that everything seats, you get it all settled. And then you just want to back off just a little bit. You want to keep this too tight so that the bearings are constricted, but you also don't want to be, you know, loose down here. This is where I found it. There's a little slop in there. Now there's no slop. We want just a, just snug. We just want to back it off. I think we're about there. What's confusing is this is regular. <laughs> And that's got a, a foot pound also. We just want to make sure it's snug. I'm not going to push horribly hard on it. And we still have our spinometer cable here sticking out there. And our cap is going to go on. I just realized I need to clean this cap. I can't stand that. It's got old grease and all kinds of crap in there. We'll put some new grease in there and we'll clean that up. Okay, we got our cap nicely cleaned up. This is the original. You can see the VW symbol in there. I don't know if you can or not. Here, does it show up? Maybe. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to put some oil, oil, grease in here. Because we want kind of, you know, grease pressure on, on the bearings and all the sides. So, you know, we greased up the, the other as well. Like I said, you're going to go through a lot of grease in this. And we want to make sure our... Come on. This is the hardest part. There we go. Getting our uh, speedometer cable end through there, and then uh, we're gonna give this a, a little bop. But we're gonna use another punch here. Oh, we're popping off. Come on. We'll make sure that that's on all the way. There we go. And we'll go around and look for gaps like here. This is the original cap. This is not a, a new cap. There you go. Pretty sure we're on all the way. Clean off the end of our speedometer cable here. And it's gone. <laughs> so I had the little clip sitting over here and it got stuck to something in grease. I had it on my table right behind you guys. It's not there now. So It's either on the back of the uh, the nut there, which it very well could be, um, or it just fell on the ground. Uh, let me pull this apart and make sure it's not on the back of that nut. In which case, I mean, it's it's stuck in grease if it's there, um, but it won't set right on there. I didn't see it when I was uh, putting anything together. Uh, yeah, this grease is nasty stuff. I'll search and find it. Well, I took that all apart. I thought maybe it had stuck to something in there. It was stuck to the uh, either the nut or the uh, the little spacer. And I think when I cleaned those off, I just wiped it off on the towel and it disappeared. It's uh, in the trash or something. Now I checked through some of the towels, but uh, it could have got stuck to anything and disappeared. So I'll get a new circlip that goes on there easy enough it's not gonna die without it for right now um, probably a 92 cent part 
they'll have to pay five dollars shipping on because no one around here has anything like that um, they might have the right size so maybe i'll find out what size it is but that's it essentially we've got this whole thing buttoned up we've got new bearings in there sorry about the sun uh, new bearings in here that sound is the brake pads just barely touching that's a whole nother video adjusting the brakes but uh, the front bearings really don't take much time, unlike the backs, which I'm in the middle of. And you'll see that video too once I get the parts in and I can finish it up. But uh, the other side's easier because you don't have to deal with this speedometer cable. That's it. Have a great day. I uh, hope you enjoy the video. I hope you learn something. And uh, we'll talk next time. <clears throat> so your last step after you go to the hardware store and buy two or three of the damn little things different sizes actually there's just a couple sizes this is kind of the medium size but this see you drop it <laughs> this oh we're gonna need a, uh, a tool just a moment all right back this just clips on there and that's it. Keeps your uh, speedometer cable from sticking out. And I got the wheel on. So we're all set. Thanks for joining me today. And uh, remember to like, share, and please subscribe to the page. And I'll keep making these videos. Comment also. Please make a comment. I love comments. I like having the discussion. And uh, if it's a good comment and uh, I like your page, I'll follow you too. If you've uh, subscribed to me. So let's do that. All right, have a good one.